Okay, how do we develop strength in the size of our body? Most people don't think of stability from the size. So one contributor, contributor to lower back pain, the hip pain, is that there is atrophy and weakness in the side muscles of your hips. These, in fact, are the gluteus medius and minimus. So I'm going to stand up for a second. I'm going to show you. When we walk, and I'm just going to take a few steps. When we take a step, these muscles prevent the hips from falling out. And you see people with cerebral palsy who don't have that nerve control. They've lost it, and they walk like this because these muscles don't have the nervous system control that normal people do. But this also happens to normal people because one side is weak and this hip will drop out to the side. And then let's say this hip drops out to the side and you see that compression right here in the lower back. And then like, oh man, I have this pain here. This is a contributor right here. So how do we strengthen those? How do we strengthen and make and develop neuromuscular control? So I took this from Gray Cook. He's the man. Check him out. Check out all his videos. Okay? Everything that he does is amazing. I shouldn't say everything, but most of it. Yes, well, I'll make that bold statement. Everything. We're going to have both feet in one line. So look at my back leg. I'm not curling the toes under. I'm not bringing that foot inward and making it completely straight. So if I was shooting from this view, see that? From this view. And we're walking on the tightrope. Cue Stevie Ray Vaughan. Okay. Now, you see? I'm all, I almost fell. And I might fall. No big deal. Okay. My arms are out to the side. And I'm just going to balance here. And all I'm going to do is let my nervous system just recalibrate and reset myself. This instability is actually good. It's teaching you how to be stable in unstable, unstable situations. Okay. We're just going to hang out here like this. Then, if you feel like you're getting good at this, both thumbs face each other. Now, Cook does this with a, like a stick. We don't have sticks, so we just have to do this. And I'm going to row a canoe, paddle a canoe, not row, I guess. So you see this? I'm going to paddle. And again, if you fall, you fall. Look in front of you, pick that point of concentration. Don't take your eyes away from it. And automatically, my neuromuscular system will turn on. Because a little interesting fact, the muscle impulses that are sent to your brain normally to react bypass the brain, and they go from the appendicular skeleton, the legs and the arms, to the spinal cord, and then immediately back. They bypass the brain. That's how quick it is. Okay? And then come back, rest for a second, and then you're going to switch to the other side. And again, no cheating with that back foot. Make sure it's flat. Okay? Balance here for a little bit. If you feel like, oh, it's pretty easy, I can drop the arms. And then you're going to paddle that canoe. Okay? There are other variations of this, which I'll talk about in a later video. Okay? All right.